What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Lovely seeing you here again. My name is Karen to ours if you're new here. Hi! Graduated from college exactly a week ago today and I can confidently say that the only thing I miss is the food. <laughs> I'm sorry, the only thing I miss is the food. The only thing I'm going to miss is the food. For the past week, I've been having to actually feed myself. Like I have to wake up and think, what am I gonna eat today? And like, actually make it and if i don't have the ingredients i have to go out and get it then i have to do this every single day and this is just <laughs> this is not a world that was prepared this video is dedicated to my school's dining hall and their food they have one number one best dining hall i think i don't know the exact title but the number one best dining food hall food in colleges across america for the third straight year umass amherst ranked number one for campus dining in the nation and it's for a reason the food was gas the food was gas the food was gas i'm gonna miss it and i'm gonna miss it so i recorded a week in my life of like what i ate in college for my last week of college i recorded you know what i ate there's four main dining halls there's hamp Burke, and then there's Frank, and there's Worcester. Those are the four main dining halls. Then there's cafes, like coffee shops, they sell pastries, sandwiches. There's just a bunch of cafes around campus. And then there's Blue Wall, which is in the middle of campus, but it's not a dining hall. It's like kind of like courtside food. No, I always say this. It's a court food food court vibes like you know if you went to a mall and there was a food court that's what blue wall is they used to have food trucks or they still have food trucks but i know it was very popular when i was a freshman i think because of covid a lot of things got kind of disrupted but there was baby burk one and baby burk two i love those food trucks especially for late at night like if you came back from a party or something you were starving if you just stayed up night studying they were there for you oh and then there's a new restaurant that they just built actually because they redid worcester one of the dining halls and they put a restaurant on the upper level oh i also forgot to mention that there's harvest harvest is in the campus center is across from blue wall it's kind of like a grocery store they don't sell produce though but it's kind of like a convenience store slash grocery store they have like food drinks stuff like that and then they also have this buffet in harvest that has rotating meals so like in the morning they'll have breakfast and then the rest of the day they'll have like a variety of food it's buffet style so you can just pick whatever but you pay by the pound so i think i'm missing some things i'm probably missing some things but all in all there was food everywhere there was an abundance of food i never went hungry if I was going hungry, it was because I was choosing to starve myself. <laughs> That's not funny. So here's what I ate the last week of college ever. So for day one, I had breakfast at Post and Bean Coffee. It's the cafe right next to my first class at 8.30. So I would usually just go to this cafe. I got a dirty chai latte with chocolate cake. And then she wrote, enjoy on the cup, which was so cute. And enjoy, I did. And for lunch, Victor and I went to Argo, which is also another cafe. But they usually have like boba, milk teas, just all kinds of teas that other cafes don't have so I got a mango iced tea I think mango milk tea with jelly boba and turkey sandwich some yogurt and granola <laughs> and then for the last meal of the day I had dinner at blue wall with friend Reggie wave <laughs> wasabi has more asian food like sushi katsu this day i got something called the paradise sushi roll and i usually just have like lemonade with that or something and that was yummy and it was nice to see my friend and just have dinner with him and catch up good morning happy tuesday no Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. This morning, actually, I am going to be going to the Commonwealth restaurant. We're going to be eating there today, courtesy of them. So I'm very, very excited. I'm very excited. I don't think, I know there's Blue Wall, which is kind of like courtside court, mall court, food court. 
that's what it is but i don't think umass has a restaurant so this is a new like this is a new concept so i'm excited i'll see y'all there when I walked in, I immediately noticed the interior design because that's where my eyes went to first. It was so cute. And the waiter was so, so nice and sweet. I had green tea, of course. Just gotta have the tea with ya. Pour the water and juice to my cup, aesthetically. Oh no. We started with some starters. I wanted to try something new, so I tried clam chowder for the very first time. And this is me deciding if I like it. I don't know, I love seafood, but I don't know if clam chowder is really the seafood for me. <laughs> then we had the main meal. I had turkey BLT with fries. The meat was so thick and meaty and juicy. And the fries were so crunchy, it was so good. And Victor had some sort of like mussel soup. I forgot what it was called, but it had like sausages and mussels and a bunch of other stuffs and vegetables, I think. Mm. Delicious. And we shared a lot. He wanted to try some of mine. I wanted to try some of his. <laughs> and we destroyed it. We destroyed that meal. We did. We did. We did. Yes. Like every bookstore. Every no, I got to read <laughs> and then for dessert, we had some cheesecake. I had a creme brulee cheesecake. Oh. <laughs> Korea Direct. Call it outdated. The food is still great. The blue wall part of the campus. And then for a little snack, when I went to my first class, my teacher had some donuts and snacks and drinks. For my actual lunch, I went to Blue Wall again because that is the place I reside. I had tamale this time or tamales, which is kind of like a chipotle style and I love tamales. Sometimes I have to take a break because I'll eat it like four times in a row. And here's what I order every single time. Can I please get a bowl to go? White rice, please. Black beans. Yeah. Beef and uh, pork, please. Yes. Can we double me up or split it? Um, double, please. Can I please get lettuce, tomatoes, a little bit of corn. Corn? Yes. Cheese, hot sauce, and guac. Chipotle sauce as well, please. Chipotle sauce? Yes. Oh, did you mean that right in the hat? No, no, I meant both. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah. <laughs> that I started eating you know a breakfast <laughs> I actually started the day munching off some frosted flakes that I have in my room you can see me picking up the crumbs off my bed and I was like you know what I'm gonna get up and get myself a real meal so I went to campus center I went to people's organic cafe which is next to blue wall across from harvest I had can you guess turkey sandwich is that three days in a row i promise though all of these different like sandwiches had something different it wasn't like i was eating the same sandwich every day you guys can see like there's a difference between the one i had on the first day second day and the third day okay let me justify my choices i love turkey sandwiches turkey ciabatta because it's on ciabatta bread turkey tomatoes bacon spinach and of course, some lemonade on the side. And I was enjoying my turkey till the worst thing that could ever happen happened to me. Don't cry, I'm fine. And then later that day, I went to Hemp and had stir fry. Oh my gosh, I'm getting hungry just watching and talking about this. Hemp really just goaded when it comes to stir fry, when it comes to food in general. I put in my veggies and then I just love watching them like cook it. And I get some white rice with it and of course some tea because I think I was like not feeling well. And then I ran into Xavier actually. He was eating alone, I was eating alone, I was like, 
want to eat together. So then we sat together and I asked him about his meal. What is that? Chicken tiki masala. Have you had it before? It's busted. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, busted. And what was that? Oh, sometimes they have pulled pork. What I do is I take the fries, I put them under the pulled pork, put the pulled pork on top of the fries, and I eat it like that. Nice. And I drink water. Innovative. Water is regular. This is day four. This is when my like, graduation was so close. I just had given up. I did not want to wake up out of bed. I just didn't. I couldn't. It's 10 a.m. and I cannot miss omelets. I haven't had an omelet all week and I, that's a disservice to you guys. Omelets are what kept me alive. The ham omelets are what kept me alive all four years. So, we need to get some omelets in our system today. Hamp is right there. Literally takes me two minutes to walk. And it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Once I make my omelet, I just make my way like around the dining hall. And they usually have like sausages, plantains, tomatoes, eggs. And sometimes they have waffles that I've gotten occasionally. This time I wanted oatmeal, so I also got some oatmeal with cinnamon, brown sugar, some little mini apple slices. And this is what my meal looked like. It was so beautiful. I love when like food just looks good, you know? Like it looks so good that you don't even want to eat it. And then I had some fruits, you know, after breakfast. And then for lunch, the best thing happened to me. I was putting my food away and I saw that for lunch, they had the pork rib soup. If you've never had the pork rib soup from ham and you're at UMass right now, please do yourself a favor. Go try it one day, one of these days. They usually have it on Fridays. I've noticed. Notice it's always on a Friday. I started to pick up the pattern. So had some pork rib soup. And I got so excited because that's my favorite meal that they have over there. Ate that, and here was the aftermath. I'm 34 weeks today. And then I did God knows what for the rest of the day till it was like 9 o'clock and I realized, oh, I haven't had dinner. And the dining halls are closed at 9. But you know what's not closed? Burke. Burke late night. It is currently 9.36. And the only thing that saves me when I stay up and I don't eat dinner, or even sometimes when I eat dinner and I still want more food after, is Burke Late Night. Now, if you're on my vlog, if you've been watching for a while, I've definitely explained to you what Late Night is. But if you don't know what Late Night is, Late Night at Burke is probably one of my favorite pastimes. I've made a lot of memories there. <laughs> Lots of memories. It's from 9 to 12, 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. They have food, like good, you know, late night cravings. Sometimes there's music and a DJ. And it's just a good time, like if you're out late with your friends and you're hungry and all the dining halls are closed. Burke is there. Okay, we're gonna go to Burke right now. So we got to Burke and we had some fish, some pasta. They always have pizza and then they had, you know, the drinks, of course, and some garlic bread yeah I, hear you. I don't know if it's because it's finals week or it's a friday night maybe that's why no one's here because it's a friday night and like people are going out okay because i was like it used to be way more full than this all right this give you a message from an honest student you know who loves food late night you gotta step it up, man. Freshman year late night was so Freshman good. Freshman year, mm. COVID impact. Yeah, but bring back late night, please. Yes, please. This is why I can't be by myself because when I'm by myself, I have to do this, and it's so weird. But if I have somebody with me, it's less weird. Cause they're like, oh, she's not a loser. If there's one thing I'm learning through making this video, it is how horrible my eating habits are. They're so bad. Try telling people what you eat in a week and then realizing that you actually don't eat 
well <laughs> don't eat as much as you should and you don't eat at the times that you should i'm realizing that now i'm like dang i'm about to start this video at 3 p.m what does that say about me i have not eaten and it's three o'clock the only thing that's saving me is that when i do eat the food is enjoyable <laughs> that's the only thing but other than that yes i have really bad eating habits and sleeping habits and spending habits and saving habits and scrolling habits and everything every bad habit i have it every bad habit i have it every bad habit i have it campus is so quiet right now there's literally nobody but i'm going to frank which is all the way over there because i want to study around this area what I love about Frank is their stir fry. I know I had a stir fry the day before, but you will see that the Frank stir fry and ham stir fry are two completely different things. And they're each beautiful in their own way, you know, I'm not going to discriminate. What's cool about the stir fry is that they actually mix in the rice with the vegetables and the meat. Or if you want noodles, they'll mix that in too. They mix it in with everything and it's and usually the stir fry bowls are huge and i ate it all and then went into a food coma when i tried to go study guys look at the sky it's so parite finals week is brutal because it just consists of me eating and then sitting at one place for an unhealthy amount of time and then eating. It's just like eating, sitting at a desk on my laptop, writing essays and studying it, then eating again. Eating, sit, eating, sit. So I ended up going to Harvest and actually having the buffet style food like I mentioned earlier. We have mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is fire at Harvest. Rice, I didn't really need this rice. <laughs> I just like, I can't walk past the rice. It just doesn't feel right to me. So I got some rice. We have some beer battered fish and then Alfredo and then some potato wedges. One chicken wing. Blue wall is closed but they had harvest open so that's nice and there's literally nobody in here yeah and then they had Fanta let's dig in visited me so that was fun he loves visiting because he loves the hey, food do you mind if i have that mango i mean banana no what do we got here we got the good star tell us i had california bowl seaweed salad mushroom pizza tabouli many cultures not enough time <laughs> what is that sweet tea and, Wait. Uh, yogurt. what you get babe so i have for breakfast I didn't eat breakfast and it's already lunch. Avocado toast with tater tots and tomatoes. Mm. Sushi bowl, white rice, chicken stir fry, and some Chinese fried rice. Orange. And passion fruit juice. And then later on, after some studying and doing some work, we went to Worcester Dining Commons. So excited to be eating here today, guys. <laughs> Moroccan pork with the rice, carrots, and the tahini sauce, maybe cucumber and yogurt. Very excited for a second round. Starve. <laughs> Here we go. Sweet potato fries, regular fries, broccoli, chicken tenders, pork, like the meat is pork. Pork, more pork, <laughs> meatball sauce, pasta. Sounds great. Yeah. Passion fruit juice. As always. 
Shout out to UMass Dining for an incredible four years of eating. Three years because of COVID. I hope you enjoyed seeing what I ate for my last week in college ever. And this is usually what I ate throughout the week. If you go to UMass, comment down below what dining hall you think is the best. If you don't go to UMass, just leave a comment down below. And I'll see you in my next